In this video, we're going to be addressing a very popular and a very common statement I've recently heard being thrown around more and more, mainly on YouTube and on Twitter, and that is a statement that the Minecraft community is toxic, or that Minecraft players are spoiled. The reason this statement is becoming more and more popular is obviously because recently Maljang decided to no longer add birch forests and fireflies as a part of the world update, causing statements like these to get a lot of popularity. And I'm going to be asking you guys for your thoughts at the end of this video. Drop a like on this one to help get it out there, and let's dive right into it. So everyone, I'm sure you've been on Twitter or YouTube recently, mainly looking in the comments, and especially below the comments on the developers' tweets. I'm sure you've saw something similar to this, where someone does leave the comments saying the Minecraft community is toxic or the players are salty or they're spoiled something like that they all pretty much are hinting at the same thing and that is just that the community for Minecraft and surrounding Minecraft and its new updates is pretty much unpleasant now we're going to be talking about this and I'm going to be giving my opinion one thing I like about this channel is that I give my opinion and I give my thoughts whereas other people may back down from trying to talk about this or may not give their personal thoughts, I think it's important for me as an old time Minecraft player to actually talk about this and give my thoughts. Hopefully you guys can let me know yours down below in the comments. But I started seeing tweets like this around about when Maljang did decide to remove birch forests and fireflies from the wild update. By that I mean around the time they announced they were no longer coming as a part of the wild World update in that one specific episode of Ask Mojang. Around this time, the community was naturally upset, leading probably hundreds of thousands of players to go and comment about this and basically spread the news like wildfire across the internet, making videos, tweets, comments, things like that. And there's one thing that I completely understand, and that is people calling players salty or toxic when they are um, going against the developers and being nasty to them. If people are then being called toxic, obviously that's kind of understandable and it does depend upon the situation. But what we're going to be talking about today and in this video is mainly the player base as a whole. Obviously, those people that go and target the developers are like a very small minority of the player base, whereas the majority is upset for a lot of of other reasons. Now let's just take one statement that I've saw talked about a lot recently and that is that the Minecraft players are toxic or the Minecraft community is toxic. This is probably one of the most popular comments and statements I've been heard thrown around. I've saw it on the comments to my videos, I've saw it on Twitter, below the developers tweets and I just want to give my thoughts about this. Obviously as I said there's no naturally going to be some parts of the player base that are toxic or have some um, different views to the majority of the player base and I would definitely argue that there are some toxic Minecraft players of course and obviously we're mainly talking about those that go and target the developers but I do not think it's fair to call those players that are upset of the birch forests and fireflies information I do not think it's fair to call the majority of those players toxic just in case you're confused what people that are saying this mean, basically they're trying to say that the Minecraft community is unpleasant or harmful. I think when people comment these sort of things, they just assume that um, the, the player base is toxic because they are actually upset about this. And there's another thing that I do not understand when players are being called spoiled. These two statements go kind of hand in hand. But yeah, the reason I would defend the majority of the player base and argue that Minecraft players are not toxic is naturally because it's a game we all love or we would not be playing it. So naturally people um, care about things they love and they will defend it and they want the best for it, right? So we're all Minecraft players, we're a part of the community, comment down below what you 
think about this down below. But um, personally, myself, I like Minecraft. It's a game I want to see do well. I want to see it get updates, and I want to see the community grow. So when Mojang did come out and um, say that these features are no longer coming, even though they did promise them, it upset me and many other players because this is not what's best for the game, and it, it's making the, the the game look bad. It's making Mojang look bad, and all in all, it's a lose lose situation that Mojang did remove these from the update. It's making the update less valuable, less hyped. It, it's obviously posing a risk to future Minecraft updates, and because of these reasons, that is why you saw a large influx of players actually being pretty angry about this decision by Mojang. It's not because they want to be toxic or harmful or in, in any way, it is that we were just defending um, Minecraft and naturally were upset that Mojang were making a decision that is not good for the game. As I said, those players that went an extra step and decided to target the developers, I would not defend those specifically, but for the majority of the players, I think it is so unfair and disrespectful to call the majority of players toxic. Obviously, just like there's a small minority of people that target the developers, there's a small minority of people that also just defend the developers like crazy, and I believe those are the people that are making these statements that Minecraft players are toxic. I do not think the community just wanting what's best for the game is actually like upsetting anyone or affecting them unless it's those that target the developers. I do not think it's bad to be upset and to want more. I think it's natural that we want to see our favourite game succeed and do well, that we will be naturally upset when there's a bad decision made. It's not really upsetting anyone or targeting anyone, it's just wanting what's best for our favourite game. I also disagree disagree that Minecraft players make themselves um, look toxic by being upset on the internet. I do not agree with that also. Um, as I said, um, using Twitter and comments on videos is the best way to get through to Mojang and they've even claimed in the past that this works and it's a good way to get through to them. So when people are being called toxic for trying to communicate with developers or just saying they're disappointed or that they expected more more. I think it's completely crazy to call those players toxic when they are literally just trying to communicate their disappointment to the developers. And let's talk about this other statement I've been seeing quite a bit recently, and that is that Minecraft players are spoiled and they do not um, appreciate the value of updates and they just constantly want more and on a part of that I agree that sometimes players go too far and expect too much from updates however let's put this into context sometimes when people talk about Minecraft it is as if they're talking about some small indie game with a team of about 5 to 10 people and if that were the case and we were all the way back in 2011 with just Notch and a few other people working on the game, I would understand that. But let's put this into context and let's be completely real about this. Minecraft is the biggest game of all times. Although it is over 10 years old, it is showing no signs of slowing down. The amount of merch that Minecraft sells, the amount of copies, the amount of sales this game gets is completely crazy for a game of its age and considering how many sales it gets and the amount of money that generates I think it is okay to expect the very best from Mojang. Mojang is a studio with so much talent and money and resources that are owned by Microsoft. I think it is fair to expect the very best from Mojang and this goes to um, the community and the modding scene in a moment because I remember that statement very clearly that was made on that episode of Ask Mojang where they say they have a high standard so that's why modders can get things out faster but I think that just really shows complacency that Mojang um, feel like they have 
like such a high standard for updates and that is why they do not get them out on time or that's why it takes a long time and that's why they have to cut features I think it, it just shows that Minecraft players are not spoiled but the problem lies with Mojang just think about this and drop your thoughts down below it's been me GFR have an amazing day thank you so much and I'll see you all tomorrow goodbye